What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $1,400 third stimulus check update, fourth stimulus check update, and related news. Let me and our community, our extended family, know if you received your $1,400 third stimulus check today. Millions of people are expected to get it today, March 31st, although we got that bombshell uh, announcement from the IRS that says that Social Security is likely not going to receive their deposits until a week from today, April 7th. We'll go over the latest details on that, but let me know and let our community know if you got your direct deposit or a paper check or paper debit card in the mail uh, today, March 31st, as uh, we are expecting millions of people to receive the third wave of direct deposits today, March 31st, which is actually pretty cool that they've done three waves already. The bad news is that Social Security and VA and RRB got pushed off. We'll go over the latest details on that. Fourth stimulus and related news in this video. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new updates on everything on the fourth round of stimulus. There's multiple different provisions in this next package and uh, even standalone bills. President Biden has already done two rounds of student loan forgiveness for a billion dollars or more of student loan forgiveness. I covered that in uh, one of my past videos. Uh, uh, you can watch that next if you want. Don't forget to hit the like button for us down below and let's jump right in. First up, former President Donald Trump's legal problems are uh, growing as he's now involved in multiple different lawsuits uh, on various actually different subjects. As you can see here, uh, Trump's legal problems are growing with two grand jury investigations in Georgia and a possible Dominion lawsuit, which is the voter uh, system company. Trump has faced dozens of civil and criminal lawsuits since leaving office. Some center on business deals he struck before he was president. Others relate to allegation of adult misconduct, not even sure if I can say that on YouTube, and several focus on his attempt to overturn the results of the November election. Added to the growing list of legal woes this week were two grand jury investigations in Fulton County, Georgia, the Daily Beast reported. The investigations are reportedly focusing on Trump's campaign over claims that the former president sought to pressure election officials to change the vote count in November's election to favor him. The Fulton County District Attorney said she believes jurors were likely to be asked to issue subpoenas in the very near future, requesting documents and recording relevance to the investigation from Trump and his allies. The District Attorney said that three cases had been referred by Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger to her Public Integrity Unit, which is more typically tasked with investigating allegations of corruption among police officers. They will focus on Trump's alleged efforts to influence the outcome of the election in Georgia, which he falsely claimed he had lost as a result of the widespread voter fraud. This also comes as former President Donald Trump's appeal in a defamation case was just dismissed by a New York court. The defamation suit against former President Donald Trump filed by former Apprentice contestant Summer Zervos is back on track after New York's highest court agreed that the case should continue now that the one-time reality TV host is no longer president. Trump had argued that the U.S. Constitution placed him as president beyond the reach of state courts. In a brief order, the New York State Court of Appeals said Tuesday that that argument was moot. Zervos, who claimed Trump assaulted her more than a decade ago and then defamed her by calling her a liar, has said she'll seek to question Trump under oath in the case, one of several legal threats facing the former president as he maps out his political future. E. John Carroll, another accuser whom Trump has called a liar, is also planning to depose him in another defamation suit. 
So one thing is for certain is he'll definitely be busy uh, defending these and possibly uh, testifying under oath in some of these cases. Yesterday, President Biden signed an extension to the very popular stimulus program for small business owners called the Paycheck Protection Program. He extended this for two months from March 31st to May 31st. The bill that's now signed into law also gives the Small Business Association up until June 30th to process paperwork for the PPP Paycheck Protection Program. This basically is for anybody with a small business or a side business. Even if you have a side business uh, to the IRS, that is considered a small business. You don't have to be incorporated or have an LLC or anything like that in the eyes of the IRS. Basically, if you have a side hustle, a side business, a side gig, where you get 1099 or you're a, a gig worker or a contract worker, you likely could qualify for the Paycheck Protection Program, which gives you, uh, for loans up to $150,000, are completely forgivable, which is basically a just stimulus check to you to use for your small business. You have to use the majority of the money on paychecks for your employees, However, you count as an employee. So if it's just you at your business, say you drive for Uber, you drive for Grubhub, you're a, uh, you sell products on Amazon like I teach people how to do, any type of side business that you can claim income from, it has to be previous uh, from 2020. It can't be a brand new business this year. But if you have a business income from this business, call up your local bank or, or a bank in your local city and tell them you want to sit down and ask them if you're if you can qualify for the paycheck protection program because you can just get you might get a, a forgivable loan a grant for ten thousand twenty thousand fifty thousand anything under a hundred and fifty thousand dollars is forgivable with a very simplified process so this literally could mean multiple stimulus checks in your pocket to help you with your small business. So if you think you might qualify, call up your local banker and ask them. And if you get if you get it, you can thank me later. Another stimulus program from the second stimulus check package is set to uh, open up here in April. So very soon. This is for uh, funeral expenses for anybody who died from the pandemic. So if you had a family member who passed away, first of all, my condolences to you. Second of all, uh, this is already approved believe it's a billion dollars or something like that. Um, FEMA has actually upped it. Previously, we heard it would be up to $7,000. Now it's up to $9,000 in funeral expenses. And then here's the interesting thing too. As you can see here, almost 550,000 people in the United States have passed away due to the pandemic. And FEMA is working to help ease some of the financial stress and burden caused by the virus by providing up to $9,000 in assistance per funeral. And get this, this is very interesting, or $35,500 per application, the agency says. So um, it's weird because I looked into it and they don't specify what an application is. But uh, the good news is, is that this is going to be coming available in April. I believe it's for 2020. I don't believe it's for anything that may have happened in 2021. But we'll see more details as that comes out. It used to be 7000 Now it looks like it's going to be up to 9000 And also possibly $35,000 per application. So if you had anybody pass away, a uh, family member, get all your receipts ready. Get the certificate of death available. Have all your receipts ready. I'll update you in the next few days when that becomes available and how to apply for it. It's just one of the other stimulus programs. Like I said, there's so many different stimulus programs out there from these uh, previous stimulus packages and upcoming in the future. I'll keep you up to date on all of them. Okay, next up, millions of people are expected to get their $1,400 third stimulus check today as we've have We've had thousands of comments of people saying that they were pending from March 31st from the IRS Get My Payment tool. So first of all, let us know if you got your $1,400, if you're on Social Security or not, and if what bank you're with. So this will let us know about uh, who got their third wave. This is the third wave. This is the third Wednesday that direct deposits have gone out for uh, the $1,400 third stimulus check. 
Of course, we know that yesterday, unless you didn't see my video, it's the one that says, don't miss this video as the thumbnail. Uh, we got bombshell information late last night or yesterday afternoon that says the IRS projects a stimulus payments to non-filer Social Security and other federal beneficiaries will be dispersed later this week. Uh, this was unfortunate news, and this is why I'm probably going to have a lot of comments that said, I'm on Social Security and I didn't get it today. And that's because just yesterday, the IRS told us here that says, as work continues on issuing millions of economic impact payments or stimulus checks to Americans, the IRS and the Treasury Department announced today that they will anticipate payments will begin to be issued this weekend to Social Security recipients and other federal beneficiaries who do not normally file a tax return, with the projection that the majority of these payments will be sent electronically and received on April 7th, which will be a week from today, next Wednesday. That'll be the fourth round, fourth wave, I should say, of direct deposits. For some weird reason, they always hit on Wednesdays. Uh, the first one was March 17th. St. Patrick's Day, then March 24th, then today, March 31st, and the next one will be April uh, 7th. But what's interesting is they say that they issue them this weekend here. They go out on the weekend and they and they they pend until April 7th. In some of the past cases, some of the banks release these a day or two early, but I don't want to promise that because well, I don't want to mislead anybody. So most likely, if you didn't receive it today and you're on Social Security and you get direct deposit or direct express card and you didn't receive it today, you'll most likely be receiving it uh, April 7th based on this new IRS guidance directly from the IRS. Um, you also could be getting a paper check. I get a lot of people that says uh, their IRS get my payment tool says that their paper check is going to go out April 2nd. Oh, let me update you on the IRS Get My Payment tool. Okay, right here, the IRS notes that the Get My Payment tool on irs.gov will not be updated until the weekend of April 3rd through the 4th with information for federal beneficiaries expecting payments next week. So don't even check the IRS Get My Payment tool until Saturday or Sunday. Also, this IRS press relief uh, talks about Veterans Affairs, and it says the IRS continues to review data received for Veterans Affairs, VA, benefit recipients, and expects to determine a payment date and provide more details soon. Currently, the IRS estimates that the stimulus checks for VA beneficiaries who do not regularly file tax returns could be dispersed by mid-April. VA beneficiary payment information will be available in the Get My Payment tool at a future date. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate for any veterans. I, I mean, you guys served our country. I thank you for your service. And I, I, apparently, it's just, it's sad. I know, I get it. It's, you know, seniors, people on Social Security, disability, and veterans are the people that really should have probably got this first. But apparently, uh, Social Security, VA, and railroad benefits, they have to send over the information to the IRS if the IRS doesn't have it from a previous tax return or the non-filer tool. So apparently, um, the Social Security and the VA and the RRB have to send this payment file over for tens of millions of Americans, and then they have to go through a series of checks and stuff with it, and that's what caused the delay. So... I don't know if it's Social Security and VA and RRB that are to blame, but uh, I mean, Social Security took 12 days to get that payment file over, and a lot of people are calling for the Social Security Administrator to be fired over that. But it seems like the VA took even longer than the 12 days Social Security took. So maybe there's some truth to it that they really do have to get this data file and millions of people, you know, all this data and send it over and make sure it's correct and secure and. I know it's just an unfortunate situation. Either way, I'll keep you up to date with the newest information as it comes in. The fourth stimulus package is uh, set to be unveiled today. President Biden is going to unveil the first part of the infrastructure package known as the Build Back Better package today. They're splitting it, splitting it into two halves 
or possibly two separate bills. I personally think it's going to be two halves. And they're kind of trying to do that, I think, to keep it, uh, make it look like it's smaller than it is. It's expected to be around three to four trillion dollars. And they're going to unveil part of the first half of that or two trillion dollars today. We have dozens of Democrats, 21 from the Senate, urging Biden to put recurring stimulus checks and additional unemployment aid extension in this next package. The first package, first part of the package is just going to be the physical infrastructure I'm expecting, but we could see some surprise things in there. But we have dozens and dozens of Democrats, 60 of them uh, from the House of Representatives alone, pushing for President Biden to include a not just one stimulus check in this next package, but monthly recurring stimulus checks in this next package. We're also expecting preschool to be for free in this next package, as well as free community college we're expecting him to announce in this next package. I'll give you all the details of that and what we might see in this next package and what we're going to see in this next package. They are expected to raise taxes to pay for part of this package. Unlike the previous five packages, five stimulus packages were passed underneath former President Donald Trump. One now passed underneath President Biden. Six stimulus packages have been passed up to this date and and uh, the first one underneath President Biden was the most expensive. Uh, that was more than President Biden. The first one underneath President Trump was the most expensive. That was more than President Biden's package that they just passed. But they're expect, and none of those had a tax raise because they were just basically pure stimulus. And they'll probably never raise taxes to pay for that. It'll just go on the debt and it just will be there. Um, but they are expected to raise taxes on the corporations, the corporate tax rate, and the wealthy, the top 1%, President Biden says, to pay for part of this infrastructure package because it's stimulus and infrastructure in there. And um, the infrastructure part, they want to somewhat pay for through tax raises on the wealthy and corporations. So I'll keep you up to date on when we get more details of that. Also, real quick, I want to update you guys on my health situation. I meant to update you last night and I forgot because there's just so much crazy news going on right now. But if you know, I have a chronic back condition. I was born with a PARS defect where I have a spine defect in my lower uh, back and um, one of my vertebrae is not fused all, all correctly. And basically, I have I went and did an MRI on my neck and my back last week, and I did a stress test. This was probably about a week or a week and a half ago. Just, well, maybe a week ago. And um, turns out that I have arthritis in my back and my neck. I somewhat knew that about my back, but not my neck. But I didn't even know that they could see arthritis on an MRI, but apparently they can. That's not really the big issue. The other issue is, is that I have a herniated disc in my lower back, which I knew of, but I also have one in my upper back. And I think that's why I, when I was having the pain real bad a few weeks ago, uh, it was, it felt like it was going up my back. And like, you know, if you have, um, certain types of like disc pressing and stuff, it normally goes down your legs. I don't get that at all, but I was getting pain going and it felt like it was in my shoulder blades and it was actually making me like uh, tight on breath, like short on breath too. And that's either because of the herniated disc in the top part of my back, but I also have a cyst on my spine or near my spine in my upper back as well. And the doctor said that that was a very rare thing to happen. So I'm going to have to go see a spine doctor to see if it needs taken out, which I hope it doesn't because I don't really want them cutting into my back to take out a cyst. Hope, but he said it was benign, but um, we'll have to see. I did take two rounds of steroids, if you remember that, from a few weeks ago. And my back has been considerably much, much better since then. Okay, So uh, that probably shrank both the herniated discs and the cyst. So let's just hope, or let's pray that uh, my back is continues to get better. Also, quick update on my wife's condition. My wife has a kidney disease called MSK. And, well, she's in pain almost every day. There's, she doesn't think there's any cure for that one at all, ever. But the body is known to do miraculous things, so let's hope that God's on our side. And I'm 
better for the time being, and hopefully my wife will get better. Um, thank you, everybody, for your prayers. I've seen them all um, throughout the weeks. Thank you so much. My prayers go out to you as well. I hope everybody gets their third stimulus checks as soon as possible, and the next stimulus check and all these upcoming stimulus provisions come out as soon as possible. I'll keep you up to date on everything. And you can click on this video to watch the second round of student loan forgiveness. And you can click on this video if you didn't see the full announcement on social security checks being delayed. Click on one of those videos next. Thanks guys. And I will see you in the next video.